I'm here now with Jeroen van Veltsen of Lemnus Lighting. And behind us, or actually we're inside uh, Boer en den Hout. It's a lattice greenhouse. And uh, the reason we're here is that Lemnus uh, has some LEDs in here. Please tell me a bit about that. Um, our LEDs have been uh, developed to create a better growth for a lower energy. So the goal of the lighting system that we have here is to reduce energy. Okay. And in this case, the application is lettuce. And I'm curious about uh, why a lettuce grower might consider using LEDs. We have been very successful for the sprouts already since uh, two years now. Lettuce is just the next phase after that, when the sprout develops into a plant. And that is exactly the system uh, we are trying to investigate and uh, uh, develop here. So Jeroen, uh, we have some of the LEDs that were turned on for us, just even though they would normally not be on in the sunlight. Um, can you tell me about what sort of intensity of light they deliver? What we uh, have here is a light intensity of about 50 micromoles per square meter. Okay. And that's uh, generally the target level for most plants or that's, just lettuce? That's for this lettuce the normal level. So uh, in conventional light you would also use that kind of level. Maybe with conventional light you use a little bit more. Okay. And we use a little bit less. Okay. Um, what about energy efficiency? Do you know how efficient they would be compared to the traditional sodium lamps? Yep. Um, the uh, energy efficiency of these lamps, uh, they are at least 30% more efficient. And if the growth is faster, you can even uh, reduce or increase the efficiency of the system, of course. Okay. Um, uh, th those are things, especially how well the growth is going and how fast it really goes compared to conventional. Those are matters of this investigation also. Okay. So you have the individual units and they're connected by a tube of water. Yep. Can you explain why? Yes, LEDs, although they are very efficient, like 30% more efficient than conventional lights or even 50% more efficient than conventional lights, they still are not 100% uh, efficient. So power that you put into the lamp, some of that will still create heat. And uh, we have to get rid of that heat we can do that by air cooling, by making a large lamp so that the air will be able to cool the lamp. We have chosen to use a very small lamp to reduce the amount of shadow that these lamps create and then use water that runs through the lamps to cool down the lamps and that water will be heated up by the lamps and actually that heat will be used and regenerated in the greenhouse to heat up the greenhouse and to cl climate control the, clean the greenhouse. Okay. So you're more intentionally using the, the heat and putting the heat where you want it, or in this case, on a hot day, you're avoiding the heat from getting to the plant. Exactly. We can now use, we can actually separate light and heat from each other. If at a certain day we only want light and not the heat, we can just simply buffer the heat. You can buffer the uh, hot water in a buffer tank, which is behind this greenhouse. Okay. And you can reuse that heat at a later moment okay. when it's, for instance, cold outside. And even at the moment that you don't need the lights. Such as that night, if it gets cool, you can use that heat then. Exactly. Okay. If you add that energy, into, uh, that balance into the energy uh, saving, then the energy saving will be even much higher above 60 to 70 percent, we have okay. calculated. Okay. All that, of course, you have to measure in reality, and the practice here will show us. So we have the older greenhouse, which has the sodium lamps here, yep. and then you mentioned this is a new greenhouse. Correct. And that's probably the best time if you're going to invest in LEDs is when you're putting in a new structure, is that right? Yeah, generally uh, entrepreneurs have uh, uh, purchased, invested in lighting systems, and they, uh, with, they are there already. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't make sense to take them out and throw them away. Uh, and putting a new other lighting system. And usually economically, that's a bad business case. Mm -hmm. However, at the moment that you're building a new greenhouse, that's also the moment that you start a new uh, investment in uh, light. Uh, and that was also here the case. So okay. this was the, the ideal moment is when you are doing a new greenhouse and then make the balance, do I use conventional lighting or can I start using uh, LED lighting? Okay. And you make the business case for the new greenhouse. So I've got a tough question for you, is do you have an uh, estimate of what the return on investment would be for this LED system? How many years would it take to recuperate your costs and, yeah. and 
surely they're more expensive than a sodium lamp. Yeah, generally we could see that uh, 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 the earn back of the system is about three to five years, some cases six, seven years. Okay. Depends on energy prices and the use. The use, the geographical location, how many cloudy days do they get? How long are the days in, yep. the, yep. in the winter, yep. for example? For instance, what, when we look at northern uh, co uh, countries, uh, Canada, yeah. uh, you will see that there are locations with a lot less light during the year, mm -hmm. average. So they use the lighting already a lot more. Sure. For them, it's easier, uh, it's, uh, it's much more interesting. In Scandinavian countries here in Europe, you will see a tremendous use of lighting, mm -hmm. and LEDs can be earned back uh, very quickly. Great. Thank you very much.